Hi, so today I'd like to discuss what some of these signals mean when they have an underscore L at the end of them on a schematic. So learning how to read a schematic is not something that you can, you can just ask and get an answer to. If I ask you, how do I read English, you're, you're probably going to look at me funny because there's just, I don't really even have to explain how many things are wrong with that question in its basic state. The same way that I don't even understand where to start with how do you read a schematic, what, are, what is wrong with that question. So what I've done with a lot of the basic electronics videos, I've tried to break down what the components do and break down what the circuits do in just really basic language. And I'm going to try to do that here with, uh, with something else. So here we're going to delve what that means. So let's just move over to the screen capture here. And let's go for a really basic signal like PM bat low underscore L. This is a very basic signal that has an underscore L at the end. And because of the way it's written out, it should be very easy to tell what this stands for and what this means. So this says system power management. We're in the system power management page. And as I say, a lot of the time, you're going to have to deduce what this means by, you know, by buying vowels, buying consonants. So PM. Power management. I'm going to assume because we're on the system power management section of this chip that PM means power management. Now, bat low. We're talking about a laptop here, so I'm going to assume that that means battery low. Now, underscore L, this is the important one. Underscore L means that this signal will be asserted when it is low in voltage. What do I mean by asserted when it's low in voltage? This signal exists to tell this chip that the battery is low, right? That's what this signal is there for. So underscore L means that if the signal is zero volts, then the battery is low. If the signal is 3.4 volts, then the signal is not present. So this confuses a lot of people because people will measure 3.4 volts on PM bat low and they'll go, oh my God, the PM bat low signal is present. That means that the battery is low, um, but the battery is fully charged. So I'm really confused as to what's going on with the system. The way this works, remember again, when you see underscore L, that means that this signal is asserted when it is low. So this chip over here, the system power management chip, if it sees zero volts at the bat low signal, because of this underscore L that stands for low, it's going to assume that the battery is low if the underscore L, if it's zero volts. So as long as you have an underscore L, that means at zero volts, the signal is asserted. So you know what the with the newer Retina MacBooks and the newer MacBook Airs, you know how when you decide that you are going to uh, try to turn it on, but you have like 0.5% battery, you just get that little, that little battery symbol that blinks with the little red at the end of it, and it doesn't turn on? That means that the PM bat low signal is 0 volts. If you apply 3 volts there, it will actually try to boot even if the battery only has 1% you know, uh, uh, capacity left. So that's what that is for. Now we could find a couple of other examples over here of that signal. So let's say PM power button low. So that means that when that signal is low, it thinks that you're pressing the power button. Uh, another one, let's say platform reset L, right? Platform reset L. So let's say that you have a, let's say you have a desktop computer. When you hit the reset button, right? When you hit the reset button, you're asserting the reset signal. So this is very similar. It's not the exact same thing, but kind of similar. So when you hit the reset button over there, what it's doing is it's asserting the reset signal, which means that this would then go low. So if you notice that you, let's say you touch the reset button on your desktop computer and you hold it down, you'll notice that it doesn't continuously reset. If you hold that reset button down on many desktop computers, the desktop will simply never turn on and boot up or do anything. It'll turn on, but it's not going to boot. It's not going to actually, it's not going to post. It's just stuck. The same is true here. If I keep this platform reset signal low, the computer itself is never going to post. It's never going to do anything. It's going to be stuck. So this here says that the platform reset signal will be asserted when it's low. So if I see that this signal is stuck at zero volts when everything else is coming up, that means that something's happening in the system to keep the, to keep the reset button pressed at all times, which is going to keep my system from working. Uh, hopefully this has been informative and helped you in some way. Hopefully now your understanding of the underscore L helps you to troubleshoot some of the issues that you were having that you weren't able to troubleshoot before. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them. So long as you're not asking me a long-winded question on how to fix your specific board. Thank you and have a nice day.